Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Bell's. This is Lampshade Party Ale. Uh, couldn't find much information about it other than it's hopped with Idaho 7 and Galaxy. So some of the new fun hops that a lot of New England IPAs are doing. But this is a, as appearance, a reshot. Uh, this is a classic kind of West Coast kind of look to it. So um, the picture is also pretty interesting. I uh, see a kind of 70s kind of picture on this one. Apparently, we cleaned out mom's attic and found these pictures of Uncle Rick and Aunt Linda. All we can say is, wow, we had no idea. So, I mean, I hope the, um, I wish the website, you know, just like, you know, poured in. Like, tell the story. Like, give me a story. Like, it'd be fun. Like, who was uh, Uncle Rick and Aunt Linda? Like, why do they do crazy parties like this? Like, the story behind these pictures? But they use this as an inside story joke that we don't get to take part in, which is like, what's the point? You know, like, it honestly, it's like, pretty ugly label. We're in 2020, come on, man. You know, right? But if you have a story behind it, it doesn't matter. Who cares about the label? The, the label has a great story, tell the story behind it, and then, Voila, but uh, the beer comes in a deep gold color, wonderful clarity. I don't really get the intense kind of like Galaxy Idaho 7 notes that you generally get from New England IPA. This was bottled, by the way, about three weeks ago. Set on the warm shelf, so it is what it is. It smells hoppy. It's grapefruit. It's a little piney. A little bit of like light, um, biscuity quality. A little bit of caramel. Cheers. Mm. So, this is very bitter for um, Bells. Yeah, absolutely. Fries up front. It's ripe grapefruit. It's bitter. A little bit of like balanced kind of caramel sweetness to it. A little bit of breadiness. Dries out. The most the most dry beer that I've had from Bell's, at least IPA wise. It's very dry. Wow. Um, <laughs> strangely enough, this is very much in a theme of West Coast. Despite using Idaho 7 and Galaxy. I would guess this is like a sea hot beer, double IPA, circa 2015. Enjoy by Ruination, Lagunita sucks. Like, you know, nice kind of residual sweetness behind it, but it's bitter. Bread up your alley. Yeah. It's a toned down version of Double Too Hard if you've had that, but. It's in that range, does not, you know what it has? It has a little bit of that kind of burnt tire note from possibly, I wanna say Galaxy probably has that, but um, a little bit of that until next time, guys, cheers. Uh, this beer for me gets a solid 92. Fun stuff, cheers, later.